Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about comparison of isotopes. This will be the second quarter topic, week 3 and day 3. And this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the difference between the isotopes in terms of the number of neutrons and their effects on the mass number The second one is to apply their knowledge of isotopes to accurately calculate the mass numbers of different isotopic forms of an element such as oxygen isotopes presented in the work example and the third one is to express a sense of curiosity and excitement in covering the unique characteristics and real world uses of various isotopes through detective team investigation in activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will conduct a quick quiz on the key historical figures and their contributions to atomic theory to reinforce the previous learning. For the first question, what is the definition of atomic mass? The possible answer is, atomic mass is weighted average mass of an element's isotopes. For the second question, what is the formula used to calculate the atomic mass? So the formula is, atomic mass is equal to the summation of isotope mass multiplied to the relative abundance. For the third guide question, what do the terms in the atomic mass formula represent? The possible answer is, isotope mass, it is the mass of the isotopes of an element relative abundance it is the fraction or the percentage of that isotopes as it occurs in nature and the summation it indicates that you sum up the products of the isotope masses and their relative abundances for all the isotopes of the element for the fourth question, why is it important to consider the relative abundance of each isotope when calculating the atomic mass? The possible answer is, the relative abundance allows you to properly weight each isotope's contribution based on how much of the element it makes up naturally, resulting in a more accurate representation of the average atomic mass. For the explicitation, discuss the differences between the isotopes in terms of neutron numbers and mass number. Then explain how these differences affect the atomic properties. So isotopes of an element have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons leading to different mass numbers. For example, the carbon-12 has 6 neutrons while carbon Carbon-14 has 8 neutrons. This differences in neutron number and the mass affect the atomic properties by influencing the stability and radioactive behavior of the isotopes. Stable isotopes do not change over time, while radioactive isotopes decay and emit radiation, which can be used in various scientific and medical applications. For the work example, compare the isotopes of oxygen and discuss how the numbers of neutrons changes the mass but do not the chemical properties. So, let us discuss also the effect on the mass. So, the mass number of each isotopes uh, differ due to the varying 
numbers of neutrons. The oxygen 16 has the mass number of 16. The oxygen 17 has the mass of 17. And the oxygen 18 has the mass number of 18. The increase in neutron number results in an increase in the mass of the isotopes. For the chemical Despite the differences in mass, the chemical properties of oxygen 16, 17, and 18 remain the same. This is because the chemical properties are primarily determined by the number of protons and electrons which are identical in all isotopes and oxygen. The differences in neutron number do not affect the atom's ability to form chemical bonds or its reactivity with other elements. For the lesson activity the students will accomplish the isotope detective investigation. For the goal, investigate and report on the properties and applications of different isotopes. And for the role, students act as detectives tasked with uncovering the characteristics and uses of specific isotopes. And for the audiences, are the classmates and teacher. For the situation, a mystery scenario where students must discover the key information about the assigned isotopes. And for the performance, a detective report summarizing their findings on the isotopes properties and applications. For the procedure, first is to introduce the activity by explaining the students will become the isotope detectives tasked with solving mysteries about the specific isotopes. The second one is to divide the class into small groups and assign each group a different isotopes. For the third procedure is to provide each group with a detective worksheet that includes the following prompts. So list the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for your assigned isotopes. And then determine the mass numbers of each isotope and identify whether the isotope is stable or radioactive. Then research and take note or take down at least two real-life applications of each isotope. For the fourth procedure, groups analyze the gathered information and fill out their worksheets. Encourage students to use reference materials to ensure accurate information. And for the fifth procedure, each group creates a detective report summarizing their findings, including the detailed information on the isotopes, piece, clear description of their real-life application, and any interesting facts discovered during the investigation. For the sixth procedure, groups present their detective reports to the class, facilitate a brief Q&A session after each presentation to reinforce the learning and address any questions. And for the last procedure, after all the presentation, lead the class discussion on the importance of understanding the isotopes. Encourage students to reflect on how the Isotopes are used in scientific and practical applications.